Is that yes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what that means? That means. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wouldn't it be fascinating to know if we could possibly know how many miracles Jesus performed in his three-year active ministry? It'd be amazing to know that. Uh, we know we have some record in the New Testament, but the New Testament also tells us that there are many, many more things that were written or that were not written that we would really be uh, interested to know. I think that the people who were healed by Jesus not only were healed in their bodies. That is our uh, normal uh, idea. We gravitate to the bodily healings. But what about the mind? What about the memories? What about the trauma that a lot of these people faced? The scripture that I'm going to be talking about on Sunday the 17th of September deals with a man who had a withered hand, probably from birth. But the interesting thing about it is that Jesus quotes from the prophet Isaiah about himself. And he uses two metaphors to illustrate the issue of memory. He uses, first of all, the metaphor of a bruised reed. He says that God will not break a bruised reed. And the second metaphor he uses is that God will not snuff out the wick in a little candle. He will not snuff that out. So what I'm going to be talking about on the 17th is how the Lord deals with our inner life, our inner thoughts, our inner memories, our mind, what God does to heal those things which many of us carry for many, many years. The title of the message is Handling a Bruised Reed. Hope to see you.